<laughs> Butterfly toys, which are quite a, an interesting subject. Here's one that looks exactly the same as the one I've just shown in the last video because it's um, made by the same company. Well, what they do a few of the following year, in fact, is um, they add another feature to it, of course. So you turn it on like that and it flaps away. But now you've got a second switch on the bottom and this time it makes some... Um, well, over the chuntering sound, it's actually playing somewhere over the rainbow. from Judy Garland from Wizard of Oz. But it's nice to add a bit of um, music to it as well. So that's the one that followed on from the other one. Both work in the same way, the flapping butterflies. This time with music, which you can make silent. But you're still getting the chunk, 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 chunk noise of the butterflies. If you turn it off and it becomes still. Lovely idea, and I think that's as far as they've gone with that one. So two items, there we are. There's one they have here, which I've shown in other contexts, which uh, Free Mountain made about 30 years ago which is one of the lovely soft toys which um, transforms. You've got a zipper on the bottom. When you unzip it, as a lovely kid loves to unzip something and see what's inside, and look inside, a bit of a mess there, but then what they've got to do is turn it inside out. So in stuff, 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 out there, there, there stuff. And it's a reversible zip, it works both sides. So when they're finished turning the, getting the legs in, but the, the bug's legs got to go in, you can zip it up again like that. Boom, boom, boom. There we are, zipped up. What do we have on the other side? Nice, large, flappy butterfly. Big, big flap, 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 and very soft. And so kids can actually quite enjoy this because it's got all the features of a, well, a giant butterfly, I suppose. Ooh, the, uh, the, back, the back wings are a bit tucked over there, but it's, it's nice. It's all there. The details there. The Free Mountain always did a good job with their, with their products. So let's have a go at putting it back again. The kids will have fun transforming one to the other. There's the inside, all a bit of a mess, but you've got to turn it over like that with their little fingers. They've got to go stuff, 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 stuff and get it inside. It just about fits in. It's a bit more difficult with the butterfly wings, actually. I'm going to hold it against my chest like that and see if I can get them to tuck in nicely. And when it's just about done, you've got to try zipping it up again. I'll start make a start and see if I can do, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, hang on, a bit more to go in. It's easier to get the, uh, the, the, the bug in than the butterfly, because the butterfly's got all those big, big wings, just about there. Oof, oof. Uh, poof! There we are, just about done. It's got two feelers as well, and he's got all those little legs. You know, proper little caterpillar, which is going to turn into a butterfly when you've done your hard work. So, a lot of hard work, that, but a lot of fun too. Another one I've got is huge, because this is when the Silver Mylar balloons first came out. This is one of the early ones they did, which had never been repeated, which is a great shame, because it's a full-size balloon. Let's see which way around it goes. It doesn't think it matters. It's symmetrical, I think. Yeah, it is symmetrical. So it's got, the whole thing is one cell. So when you, when you, when you fill it up here with air, it fills up both the large wings. If I had helium in the house, which I presently have got no helium in the house. Have you got helium in your house? I haven't got anything to put in it apart from air, and I use the pump to do it up. But you can make it flap its wings a little bit like that. But when it's fully rigid like that, it just floats in the air, in the middle of the air on a string, and looks very, very beautiful. But it's lovely details to it. I bought four or five at the time, and I've never seen them produced again. It's mostly parrots, they seem to like. Floating parrots, well, plus round things, and happy birthday to you, and flowers and things. But the butterfly is brilliant, and it's only been done the one time. Pity, but there we are. The last item is a quick the interesting one, I don't think I've ever played with it before because when I started trying to do it, I found it didn't seem to work. Just look at this thing here. It's quite a pretty little butterfly. And it's got an electric cord, a very fine electric cord coming from it. When I plugged it in, nothing happened. Well, let me show you why I was fooled. It's quite elaborate, this, because I've got to have that. I've got, it comes with a, a socket, and then it's got a transformer taking it down from 110 volts, 110 volts to, to about six. So I then got to put that into another thing here, which is, oh, here we are, an adapter. American, English into American, that's 240 volts there. And finally, that's going to go into my wall plug. And let's see what happens when I do it and switch it on. You'll find nothing at all. Well, I thought it was nothing. I look more carefully. 
So you could click it like that, bump, because it's out of ooh, out of true. There we are. Now this is what happens actually. It does move, but very, very slowly, which is exactly what you see with a butterfly. Once it's had a good flap, it stops, it parks itself on something, and this is what it does with its wings. It's very, very slowly opens and closes them. So one's got to um one's got to remember that butterflies do have two types of wing action. They have the very slow one when they're resting or breathing or respirating, I don't know what it is, but they're not flying, obviously. When a moment later, they hop off and they're flap, 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 and it's sort of busy. So this one is just showing this lovely resting moment when they gently go in and out. And, and because that's mains power, that'll go on for months and months and months and months, years and years and years. Let's see if I can get it into focus now. Put my hand up to help focus it. It's got some nice detail on the wing too. No, I can't do it. Oh, no, it's not there. Let's try that. Oh, upside down. Uh. That actually is beautiful. And it's got two little wires for its legs as well. It's a very slow action and it will go on for hours and hours, days and days. The battery drain on that is incredibly small. So, well, it's not battery, it's mains. It just goes on and on. So a very, very nice one to finish with. I've got to follow this up because there's a little bit of blurb on here about the company with a website, which I must have a look at. There's something quite clever going on in there to make something move very slowly up and down, driven by an electric current somehow. So... That's a very nice one to finish on. I like that, that very much. Some, uh, yet when I first turned it on, nothing happens. I was expecting flap, 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 and it doesn't happen. So it fooled me. You've got to be patient sometimes with these things.